What's up, Ada Gang? Welcome to Dapp Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. I'm your host, Jeff Fareed. As a part of today's video, we're talking prediction markets, diving into Bodega, a platform here that's just launched on the mainnet here for Cardano. As a part of today's video, we're diving into this platform with their founder, Corey. Without any further ado, let's bring him up here. Corey, welcome up. How are you? Hi, Farid. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks for having me here. Happy to be here and talk about prediction market. <laughs> It's my pleasure. Um, there's just been a lot going on here. Cardano about to hit 90 cents. Euphoria, I think, beginning to sort of slowly drip in here into the ecosystem. And I don't think that there's a better time that you guys could have launched your platform. So without any further ado, let's dive right on in. But before we talk about Bodega specifically, can you maybe break down you know, a little bit about who you are and how you came into the space? And then we'll talk a little bit more about prediction markets. Yeah, 100%. So. Um... I, I have a background, I have a master's degree in economy. Uh, four, about four years ago, I joined the Cardano ecosystem. And uh, yeah, I was there for the first bull run. I've seen uh, a lot of, you know, OG projects launching, et cetera. And as, as time passed, um, I always really wanted to, you know, work uh, into Web3. And a few, a few months ago, opportunity came yeah. and um, we decided to to launch a prediction market. We thought that that'd be a great idea for the Cardano ecosystem and beyond. Um, with the you know, um, how do you say the success that Poly Market's been having in the market share? It's just been crazy with election. So we we said why not? Um, there's no better time for that. Um, we put a, a, a team together and like like we say we've been building hard and uh we ma pretty much managed to to go from uh creation of the entity to mainnet in about three months three months and a half so that's awesome <laughs> yeah i mean that's very impressive here corey um if anybody hasn't heard of bodega and wants to check it i'll leave the links to it down below but it's available at bodegacardano.org um that's actually one of the first things that really sort of took me when I saw what you guys had built was how quickly it was done. And so that said, Corey, could you maybe break down a little bit of the team that's helped you to accomplish so much and so little? Um, yeah, so um, our founder uh, and co-founder is Shan uh, from Strike. He um, He's a great, great guy. He he had the idea and we decided to, to launch uh, the entity together. Um, for that, because he was uh, obviously really focused on striking and couldn't be a full time on, on Bodega. And I totally understand that we had to recruit a team. So we have uh, a developer, uh, uh, Vu, that's um, based in Vietnam, that's been working in, um, in the Cardano um, ecosystem for a while. He does like he did heaps of contribution for uh, Aiken and other, you know, open source code. Um, he, for some reason, he we can't uh, disclose his name just because the regulation or around betting in this country. Um, we have another backend guy, uh, a marketing a marketing uh, operator, and we just recruited Dominic, which is our CM. Um, so yeah, at the moment, there's Shan and I who are doxed. Um, and we're kind of the, the, the two co-founders um, of the of Barrega. Yeah. Perfect. Nice and succinct there. Um, I've definitely uh, hosted Sean and I've also talked about, you know, um, what they're building here with Strike Finance, bringing, I want to say it's perpetuals, options and futures into the ecosystem, which, again, I think sort of ties very nicely with Bodega and what you guys have built here with prediction markets. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the actual features of Bodega. Taking a look at the website right now, looks like there's the ability to view the current market. So right now, it looks like there's predictions available for the ADA price the SNEC price right. and the Bitcoin price, but what else can actually be done through a platform like Bodega? So currently, like you say, you can take a bet on, on the outcome and, and an event, and um, you will be uh, you will be rewarding in depending on the amount of you know the market decide what the amount of ADA that's put in each pool. Um, at the moment, it's uh, the V1 version, but we are working on a v2 version which will include it it would it, it will include um 
basically people will be able to create their own market, uh, earn a share uh, of the fee. Um, there will be, you'll, will be able to deploy hundreds of bets at the same time, uh, in a seamlessly manner. Um, and, and everything will be, uh, way smoother. Our, our main, uh, feature that we're w working on and that's going to take, a, a bit more time, but it's going to be the training of shares, which is imagine you, you vote in an election, uh, and you put a bet on Trump, like five months ago and the odds were 40, 40%, uh, which there were at some point. So you buy a share at 40 cents, um, but the odds go, going closer to the, the, the election go up, then the, your, your, your share is 60, 60%, uh, and you can share, uh, sell that share at 60 cents, taking a profit instead of waiting for the end of the, of the, the market to resolve. Uh, so that's the main thing we want to, to, to pull out. Uh, and we think it's going to be excited. It will be very bring excitement to, to our, our platform and it'll give, uh, opportunities for people to arbitrage kind of, um, if they see that something is like totally, uh, totally undervalued in, in some sense. Um, so that's, that's the main thing. And, um, uh, obviously we, we're gonna, we, we want to also reward, um, people who create markets and, and and our token holders. So we'll implement staking and uh, a revenue sharing model. So a portion of, of the platform fees will go to to our stakers. Yeah, very nicely said. Now, one thing I want to talk about here, which I think is extremely important when we're discussing yeah. any crypto based project is security, you know, with these poly market type platforms, or just with any prediction market, there needs to be a way to make sure that the funds are kept in a place that number one is non-custodial in a sense right to make sure that there's no central entity controlling those funds right who's able to sort of rug yeah. pull and then number two somewhere where it's openly or very transparent right for people to monitor so can you maybe break down what security features are in place for bodega as it pertains to prediction markets so um we're currently working um in talks with tx pipe for our auditing uh, we do have a member um, of our team that has been working for an auditing, auditing firm. So um, he's been also re doing a first review of code each time on, and we've been testing, testing hard. Um, um, how, how it's set up, basically, uh, it's, um, it's very transparent when people take votes. It goes in a smart contract. Uh, and there's a batcher wallet that um, everything is done from there. So you can actually track uh, bets coming in, bets coming on, rewards coming in, rewards coming out. There's no uh, cust uh, custodial. So we, we don't uh, keep custody of assets. It's in the contract. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we're, we really want to emphasize on security. So um, we're, like I said, our, our V2 code is ready to be open source um it's being reviewed by our our team members uh, right now and we're we're handing it out to to an auditor um which um will probably be tx pipe um so that should be coming in the next uh, you know week or couple weeks sounds good i can definitely get behind you guys in open sourcing i think that's something that we all need to do right um learning from one another but then reusing code when it makes the most sense instead of trying to rebuild everything from scratch now thinking long term here and i actually just pulled up your roadmap there seems like you guys have actually executed quite a bit already corey um, there's the mention yeah. of the open sourcing of the smart contracts the test net which i know you guys have already completed and then now yeah. mainnet which is now live um, yeah. what comes next? I see the mention of a public sale, the audit, and then as you mentioned, V2, um, you know, maybe we just dive into the public sale there, you know, is yeah. there a token for Bodega? If so, you know, can you break down the utility? Yes, yes, there will be a, a token for Bodega and people often ask us, why do you guys need a, a token? Uh, so I'm going to answer that question. Um, so for, first and foremost, um, the utility of the token 
is designed to benefit early adopters. Um, there will be three main things that are staking and revenue sharing. So a portion of our platform fees will go to stakers. Um, in the time where we implement staking, there'll probably be a, a buyback system, um, probably like Dex Hunter has been doing with Hunt. Um, so with a, a week, if it's weekly or if it's every two weeks. Um, they uh, the token holders uh, will be able to create markets and set up a fee. So we will decide, we'll let uh, our community decide on the maximum fee that it can be set up. But basically, for example, if you if you put a 2% fee on, on the creation of market, uh, all our previous bets would have yielded at like 1.5 to 2K ADA per bet, uh, which uh, would go to stakers and to the DAO. Um, and after we want to implement governance, uh, so we want uh, the community to be able to vote uh, towards our next features, next achievements, and, and basically implement what they want to see. Because uh, our, our view is not always what the community wants. So um, find a, a system to, to basically re realize that. The other thing is a part of the, the funding will go to our basically liquidity, uh, licensing, um, audits, um, help for further audits, and uh, yeah, new implementation of, of new feature, basically scaling uh, our, our product. Um, the licensing is really important to us. Um, we've already been in talks with lawyers in, in UAE and also uh, in New York. Um, so that's a big milestone and we'll be probably spending quite a bit on, on that part and on legal. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it uh, in a nutshell. Thank you for that, and I think legal is definitely important, um, especially when it comes to prediction markets. Right? I'm not sure yeah. if you saw the news, but I want to say it's the uh, the founder of Poly Markets was recently like raided, and some of his assets were taken just to make sure that you know he wasn't gamifying the system when yeah. it came to the predictions for Trump winning the election. So I think it's definitely something to be wary of, um, given the fact that. Not only are we dealing with prediction markets, but you're also dealing with crypto, right? So um, two very, very um, unregulated spaces right now. However, I think that, you know, focusing on making sure that you don't have any of these stumbling blocks in the future is just yeah. as important. Now, Corey, while we're here talking about the token and the utility, I think we have to talk about the distribution here of the tokenomics. Do you mind breaking down what we see here right now? Yeah, it, no problem. So we, we, like I said, we want... To we want to do uh we want to have a, a token that um benefits holders uh at the maximum i've i've seen a lot of sales coming up where you know the the public sale is only 20 or 30 percent of the of the token supply um uh, so for us we went um to 70 percent for public sale um 13 for team and advisors uh, 12 percent liquidity uh, that will be uh, putting by trenches um, and 5% for the DAO. Uh, with the liquidity, uh, like I said, we'll implement it um, step by step. And we also want to put a system, a buy wall system, like some projects have been doing on their pre sale, which seems to, to reassure um, investors when, when, they, when they invest a, in a token. So we'll have uh, a, a buy wall system as well um, implemented uh, after the token sale. Got it. Now, if we maybe sort of shift around and talk about some other things here, one thing I would love to maybe highlight are some of the recent partnerships or integrations, right? So I know I mentioned Snack earlier. Are you guys working alongside any other teams within Cardano right now? And if so, can you share who they are? Um, at the moment, I'm in talks with quite a bit, quite a bit of projects. Uh, I had like uh, five meetings this week uh, with some top Cardano projects. Um, I, I'm not sure I can share <laughs> all of them because we haven't uh, discussed, uh, we haven't really um, agreed on anything yet. But uh, I, I will say that Cardano Foundation will 
put us in contact with uh, a payment system and so we can integrate a direct credit card purchase on our platform uh, scaling to 150 uh, countries so they they actually put us in contact we started a conversation uh, with them and Cardinal Foundation so that was great uh, we're in the process um, of doing our KYB so that's where we are at the moment um, we also with all the Bitcoin um, bridge um, announcement coming we've been in talks because um, we we definitely want you know Bitcoin wallet to be able to interact with our DAP in the future so we're making sure that um, we will be our code will be compatible and we'll be able to integrate that and that we think it, it'd be really exciting as well perfect now one aspect which i think is very important here is to talk about marketing right because i think as a product you guys obviously have something very solid it's already out yeah. it's visible people can jump in and use it but how do you guys go about attracting new people to actually jump onto bodega how are you guys making sure to get the word out about what you guys have built so far um so we we do have um some advisors as well on the on the marketing side and we we're trying our best to not only market to the cardano ecosystem so we we have um same we're in talks with um you know some projects and to spread the word and 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 make sure that we were spot on. We also make sure that we always um, create bets around the trending, kind of the trending um, thing of the moment. Um, like, you know, the fight Tyson, like there's a lot of things that are really time sensitive that we, we have to be constantly following. Uh, so that's more like for Cardano and for outside Cardano, we we really want to to you know reach out and expand, and um, yeah, basically reaching out to you know crypto news. Uh, you know, uh, I was I was even thinking you know how we could talk with you know venture capitalists if they were interested in 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 the future to join the game and you know have big those big maybe entities like help us like really market outside of Cardano. Um, so yeah, there's, there's many options and we, we, at the moment, we really focus on that end. We, we kind of have like a timeline. Um, the next 14 days are already planned uh, with all our posts and stuff. So, um, and we adapt basically. Perfect. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think you guys <clears throat> have done a good job so far. Um, you guys, I think, were able to catch a little bit of the Trump and Kamala, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. vote going on. I saw the yeah. Mike Tyson one, Snek. That one had a really interesting turnout, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, now I think you guys have a couple of football games, basketball games, et cetera, which I think that'll be content. And when I say content, I'm talking about, you know, bets that can be taken basically year round, right? Because there's always some sport that's in season. And for me in the USA, football, right? is one of the bigger sort of things. And so I think there's going to be a lot of activity, especially as diehard fans finally realize what's available. But then number two, once they have the ability to actually pay using a credit card or a debit card, like you mentioned, as opposed to ADA. Now, with that said, right now I see everything listed, right, in ADA. Are there yes. plans for supporting bets being made in Cardano native assets in, you know, stable coins or, you know, maybe even Bitcoin, yeah. you know, what are the yeah. plans for adding future assets? So um, basically, we we definitely want to to be able to expand. So just our first few bets were, were with USDM, but because of uh, community feedback and nobody, a lot of people holding USDM at that time, yeah. uh, they had to swap, etc. And Ada pumped while they were holding USDM which they weren't really happy because <laughs> their reward was stuck for like two days. Um, so there's, we're exploring options soon. And on V2, you'll probably be, you'll be able to use um, different assets, um, you know, 
in the future it could be collateralized um we definitely want to expand to other uh even to cnts you know that that'd be the main thing but like i say one step at a time like if we really did it this month for launch it'd be a lot and and it'd be quite messy so that's why we 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 chose um to launch with only one we we thought it'd be easier for the user but yeah, yeah. definitely definitely yeah i mean i, I feel like you, you have to take baby steps right um you don't want to bite off more than you can chew and you want to make sure that you can deliver but then also yeah. have enough bandwidth to deal with any potential yeah. bugs or issues even with yeah. just a single asset you know so um, definitely completely understand that there now for anybody who wants to join the bodega community how can they do that corey as we get ready to take some closing thoughts from you so um yeah you can follow us on twitter um um you will will put the the link uh in the in the description we also have a discord where people can uh, ask questions um if you want to if you want more details you can open a ticket where i'm happy and the team is happy to enter any question we we want to be yeah very transparent with everything so please please do give us a follow and uh keep update there there'll be a lot of exciting stuff coming we have a space coming um it will be Tuesday. No, sorry, it'll be Monday. Um, so there'll be AXO and there'll be other uh, potential um, uh, calendar projects. So please join. Please uh, interact, ask questions. We wanted to make it uh, as, um, as most interactive possible. So, yeah. Perfect. As we get ready to wind down, Corey, final and closing thoughts, anything that I may have missed or that you just want to share about Bodega? Um, no, if final closing thought, we, we're we very um, thankful for the support we've been getting uh, in the Cardano ecosystem. We're very excited uh, about our product uh, with decent volumes coming in. We, we know that there's a massive market share, uh, like Polymarket has like over 3 billion in volume we we definitely want to capture something build something decentralized on cardano and you know um, expand beyond so we're working hard to basically achieve achieve that and a lot of exciting things in the pipeline that will scale our business so yeah we we're definitely up for the challenge and and and, and it's going to be a fun few months ahead i can tell you that yeah no congrats and kudos to you guys in such short time being able to launch a platform get a test net up and running go straight to mainnet and actually begin to get like decent volume on the platform um, i think this is just the very beginning as you mentioned with bitcoin os the bull market people just beginning to wake up and understand what cardano has to offer and then as you mentioned the traditional payment methods right all being supported directly on bodega uh, you mm -hmm. guys will be definitely growing over the course of the couple of months. So I'll be keeping an eye out on what you guys have built. Um, definitely pass on a hello to, um, yeah. um, oh my goodness, Sean. I, I was yeah. forgetting his name there. I was okay. blanking. And <laughs> um, yeah, we'd definitely love to get an update on Strike here in a couple of days. Yeah. Now, that said, Corey, I just want to say thank you for your time. Um, for the viewers, if you guys have found this particular interview to be helpful or informational, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by Dapp Central and you want more content breaking down everything going on in Cardano, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions about Bodega and what they aim to offer or their token sale or just even the token utility, please leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers, everybody. Take care.